Welcome to the Brown Bricks Podcast, the most amount of dog you can have in a podcast. We have three special guests today. We do have that dog in us, right? We now. have that dog in us, and we have that dog around us. Yes, because <laughs> yes, we've you got one anything, human special guest. <laughs> that's oh, that's our kidding. human. It's, yeah, then, that's the human. <laughs> there's there's two dogs. These dogs are well yeah. behaved. They ain't barking. At all. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they chill. Seem, they just want to be dogs. pets. Mm-hmm. It's uh yeah. They, my parents they're having a little party. Um, and they're like, you have an apartment really close to us. Can you take dogs? And I'm like, not really. Are you allowed to have pets in here? Oh yeah, everyone's okay. got a pet. There's like two golden rich. I'm not allowed. Apartment. I was asked like I asked my building manager if I could dog sit, and they were like, no. <laughs> oh and I'm yeah, like, you never okay. I'm, I'm sure I'm not, asked. like, paying the dog tax or whatever, but, like, you never asked. You would like, never, yeah, I mean, like, if I brought the dog in, you'd never fucking know. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do, search my place? I do like not. the idea that they've got that, like, the AI tech that's, like, scanning the head or whatever, but they have that just to Facial look for dogs when it comes through. I pay the pet tax that I can piss and shit on my floor carpet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, that's that's him. That's that's Rusty. We know you don't really have a big dog. <laughs> oh, I've got the biggest dog you've ever like, seen. You're supposed to clean that stuff. Still, what and, do you mean? And the dog the mostly eats corn. <laughs> I do love the idea where it's just like, yeah, I just feed my dog asparagus all the time, so that's why it smells awful. But you're just pissing on the floor, like feeling vindicated. You're like, oh, fifty dollars, well oh, worth it. Best this. fifty dollars I've ever spent. <laughs> As a landlord, it's a big problem getting a text the last month the renter wants to do the pet tax. <laughs> yeah, so on the last day they can oh, piss all over. No. It. Yeah, that's. I'd love the idea where it's like. I don't need my deposit. He's like, where can I send your deposit? He's like, I, you you won't need to send that back. Also, <laughs> You're going to need that. <laughs> can I also do a plus one on the dog piss shit on the floor tax? Yeah, is that, I, don't think, you I don't feel like that's what that's for, to be honest. Oh, yeah. No, that is, uh, that's exactly what it's for. Why else would you have a dog tax? Uh, not to just to piss and shit on your own from floor. Your tenants. <laughs> that's fair. That's, there should uh, be baby taxes. Baby taxes? Yeah, you get too many children. We're trying to they, drive the birth rate down. My landlord started charging me the pet tax after all those mice got into my apartment. <laughs> That's what he was yeah, doing. Yeah, you see a new, new charge on there. He's like, plus fucking $60. <laughs> yeah, pet tax times 10. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, I do love the idea where it's like he comes in and is able to identify how many mice are in there. And he's like, oh, you still got a couple. And it's like, I've been killing them nonstop. It's like, no, no, but you, you still have to pay the pet Being tax. Being born faster than I could fucking slaughter them it's like eight times your rent at this point because there's just so many fucking mice that would suck what the landlord starts giving you a pet tax if you've had a dog for a while just kill your dog and leave it on his doorstep <laughs> like sorry not just, paying yeah no you sorry, so <laughs> cheap <laughs> you, you try to play it off like i had a dog infestation in my apartment <laughs> they just like thousands I, I laid of dogs letting this one him. dog I'm trying to here. get this dog out i can't i'm sorry man <laughs> i do love the idea that Keep it's like, breaking in just like a dog in your walls impossible to get rid of just for some reason he's like running around and like scurrying you just can see a big piece of shit on the floor and like your cereal's all eaten and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what do I? He's a little teacup dog. Dogs as pests are a cool problem though. Like the roaming bands. Cool problem. Yeah, yeah. Of dogs. Well, yeah. Fucking kill people sometimes. Those those are different though. Those like are a like a chihuahua like the, and a great Dane hanging out together and they maul children. Yeah, those are cool. Like, I wonder what in life caused them to be like that. They were not cared for so they got let go and i like the idea that they were like trained for that specifically it's like <laughs> they're trained to go out in the wild and form packs your attack dog is just like trained to be like all right this great dane and your this chihuahua you guys are brothers and you will fight for food i think it's more just you know their natural instinct that like if true. we were let out into the fucking wilds, <laughs> we, would, we would. If we were let we out would into the wilds, we would No, yeah, we'd be and like, fire. let's make some tools. <laughs> we would know innately. Like, I don't know how to make a fire now, but if I lived out in like the wild for like a month, I'd figure it out. There is something very funny about how it's like we. Our advantage was we would run really, really, really far, and it's like n- not anymore. No, <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Ain't nobody really yeah. doing that. Anymore. I do love that. That like one of the oldest hunting techniques was just jogging. Exhausting. Yeah, you know, you just jog because like animals they sprint and then they're all tired like, <laughs> i'm gonna get you <laughs> yeah, just i think slowly. the hardest part for that would be just finding them again you know like maybe yeah. i could jog an animal down but like finding it after it runs off that's the harder part yeah they'd have to be like you'd have to be an expert tracker as well yeah. like the moment that an animal like zips off it's gonna 
like try to lose you. So yeah. it's not going to be like, oh yeah, you uh, you've got like a bunch of animals that are just like jogging and then like turning around and waiting for their humans. Is he still there? Yeah. Oh, it's oh like no. It follows. You know, you're the uh, humans were the original. It follows. Yeah. Exactly. Monster. That's cool. That's, they were the original. They follow. That's a fucking Matt Pat theory. That's, like, that's a fucking like, yeah. the it follows monster. Might be a little bit more familiar than you'd think. <laughs> it's just a person. We're kind of smart, so we're invisible until we're right there. <laughs> yeah, I jogged after the Pope until I could force him to, to play under. To play <laughs> until I say no, no, no. You have to be genocide run. <laughs> the, I, I did watch because occasionally a Matt Pat video will like appear in front of me a and like you know, channel. you're almost in like he does make them a like, disc will slide under the door unlabeled yeah. and it'll be a matt pet video <laughs> like, what's this all about and you're Who's like ah guy? it's a game theory Ma- Ma- matthew patrick he does game the game theories. theorist okay. yeah i don't know his real name no that's i think it is matthew, matthew patrick, patrick. <laughs> i actually was just guessing there yeah i guess that makes sense or it's like the f slur it's just that the doesn't F-slur. make that's not his real name. <laughs> doesn't make theory. any sense. <laughs> imagine, imagine naming your kid just the F slur. I was you just got a theory, a name theory. Yeah, your real name is the F slur. <laughs> okay, no, I've got my birth certificate right here. That would be prove funny. this. I sucked dick, but that's just a theory, a gay theory. A gay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for that, watching. I'm that is gay. Like, have you heard about all the dream stuff with a uh, dumb yeah, balls voice actor? Like, yeah, I mean, it's, it seems like. Uh, teenager discourse it's, so i try to not get too involved just oh, like i love teenage baby discourse. drama oh what give us the updates give us the juice so the lowdown is that uh the voice actor for so dream is like was grooming a kid and uh yeah, that's he, was old grooming a kid. he had an awesome he had an awesome post where he's wearing a shirt that just says i like minors but it's all the minecraft guys <laughs> <laughs> and like this is wet during the controversy yeah. and so everyone's like god damn it like stop grooming kids and uh the amazing world of gumballs gumballs voice actor the blue cat um yeah. it was kind of a cartoon past my time so i was never like truly into it but that blue cat's voice actor came and just beat the shit out of him and like just made it so he had to go to the hospital and then dream in real was like, life yeah in real life and so Wait, dream what? was like dream was like i will fucking destroy you so the he basically put a video online I thought they they slap boxed like for fun and then he actually just fucking slapped the shit out of dream i i heard That's that he I actually like beat the shit out of dream and dream was like you should not have done that i'm going to really slap like. boxed him in front of the hose this, so- this sounds way cooler than i thought it would be <laughs> and so dream posts a video of um the amazing world of gumballs voice actor at like 17 he just got him like pissed drunk and so he's just up front in like a car like saying a bunch of stuff and it just has him saying the f slur over and over again and so it's something where everyone was like okay that's uh you know that's not cool but why do you have a video why did you get him like that drunk and why did you like film him while he was like that drunk as like an underage kid he was like He's like what, like seventeen in the video? So something where it was yeah. like that was still kind of fucking. Why are you weird. hanging out with underage? So a dream got him drunk. Dream got him drunk, and then he like was filming him. They were like, they were friends, I think. Yeah, yeah. This, his revenge was a video of a drunk minor that he got drunk and filmed. Yeah, and there's and a really how, good. How how much older is Dream than this kid? Dream's like our age. Oh, uh, and that kid's like newly. I think he's not twenty one yet, but he's getting there. Um, and so basically, then in there's a really funny <laughs> he's line. He's getting there is a funny line. <laughs> there's, he's getting there. He's trying. Uh, hopefully, he gets there. But I think uh, then there's like a really funny line from like that guy, and he was just like, Dream was like, Nah, bro, I have ADHD. Or he's like, Whatever, I've got ADHD. Whatever. And then Dream's like, I've got ADHD too. And then the gumball voice actor, and he's like, Yeah, but then you said that's what the mask is, and so I think you're an F slur. So I'm not gonna take anything <laughs> you say seriously. God. So I don't care. Got yeah. it. And man. it's just like that's the little line where I'm like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> and everybody's like animating that one. But I just think it's that's awesome. Like I think that's yeah. like how you should in- interact with Dream if you do see him. Well, I just uh, it's interesting that Gumball's voice actor is actually a young kid. To yeah, me. I know. That's yeah, usually I think he not was how like that a works. Young kid yeah. at the time, and then like he just grew up with the character. Yeah. 
Uh, well, that's interesting. Glad to hear about that. And uh, about cumball. Yeah, cumball. Cumball. That's a game. Yeah. Yeah. Cumball wizard. You play it with your friends. Where it's it's like a, another version of snowballing, where you spit the cum yeah, into each other's say, mouth. An amazing role yeah. of snowball, and it's just Dream and him swapping Swap cum between their mouths. <laughs> yeah, swapping cum. <laughs> Mm, I, I would love it if you bit into like a gumball and most of them were normal, but there was one cum ball where you bit into it and it was like, you know, gum on the outside. I would probably would not like that. I think that would suck. <laughs> I would like it like conceptually. What do you think I'm about like, when whimsical. you think of winter? You think of snowballs. You think of snowballs. And you're going to, in what else do you think of when you think of snowballs? Spitting cum into each other's mouths. Picture this. That's how we're going to sell your, your family. family. <laughs> I like the idea. I just don't know if it's right for a children's cartoon show. <laughs> I do love like we're, pitching. It's, it's how we're going to advertise it. It's not what your show's about, but people but are going to love it. Do you like be- money and cum? <laughs> and cum. That's Everybody also a big a part. Cum I will make us their filthy mouth. rich and also we'll have to eat a lot of cum. Or is everyone Don, cool with that? They're the clients. If they don't want to make <laughs> their show about snowballing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about snowballing. It's about the idea of snowballing. <laughs> it's it, you know, like that's part of it. Like it's not the whole thing. There's going to be like arcs, but like this is going to be like one of the biggest shows on Cartoon Network. Don, you better go out there and apologize <laughs> to them right now. They say kids and cum shouldn't mix, but that's because they've never done it before. These fucking TV execs don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, no, th- I think I think a lot of TV execs would like look at that and immediately dismiss it. But like, if Cartoon Network aired. That show tomorrow, I feel like it might. The Amazing World of Snowball. Yeah, <laughs> this is just every episode is people swapping the oh. same cum over. Yeah, got cum in my mouth. <laughs> would that not like? Do you not get a couple articles written about you? Would that not? You know, all publicity is good publicity. Exactly. <laughs> Vanity exactly. Fair is coming through. <laughs> yeah, they, they write articles on. Yeah, cartoons. Cumball. Yeah, on um, well. I feel like Vanity Fair would write an article on this cartoon. About <laughs> yeah. Dream Dream going in for PR because he keeps fucking kids. How does yeah. Don fix that? How does Don sell that one? Everybody's got dreams, you know? Everybody's, everybody's a little bit of a dreamer on the inside. All and begins. what do you think of when you're a kid? You have big dreams. You want to be an astronaut. You want to be a sailor. You want to be a pirate. Now, Dream himself. Want to have sex? He wants want to be in a minor. <laughs> in a minor. That's his own kind of dream. We're gonna have him wear a shirt that says "I like minors." I, it's gonna be awesome. I do <laughs> it's love gonna, the idea. It's gonna call back to his Minecraft roots. That, that's why he posted that picture. It was Don Draper who told him. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the idea where it's like all of like the schizo meltdowns that like influencers have when something doesn't go right, where they're like, "I'm gonna fucking kill myself." It's like Don Draper in a boardroom. Like you guys don't understand. <laughs> Dream is going to put on a new mask. A baby's mask. <laughs> a baby mask. So he's going to fuck kids, but they're going to be older than a baby. What, what, so who's the real predator what now? What question are we trying to answer with this advertisement? We're trying to tell them what the point of the mask is. <laughs> Just walking around the boardroom, like, why do you like to fuck kids? Why do you like to fuck kids? It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't. You know, really. my wife. She was. She was once a child. Does that make me a child predator? <laughs> I don't think so. Damn, we, he's like writing this on the board. <laughs> he's like, we've got it. Pedophile Don Draper. Or Why like, are we advertising this for Ford, Don? <laughs> yeah. Why does Ford need Dream, but like specifically as a pedophile? You ever need Roadhead, but there's only Look, kids in your car? First we fix Dream, then we get American Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that it's opening up like it's fucking just a weird video of Dream doing like the safety stuff where it's like, all right, you put your seatbelt on like this, and there's and then there's just like a kid that Dream's with, and he's always getting way too touchy feely because they're like, that's a yeah, part of it. Like first, put on your own gas mask and then attend to the ch- children with you. It's just Dream putting on his own and then like being like, here, I got you. I got, I got you. Don't you. worry. You got a little little kid, little baby boy. I'll put boy. your mask on for you. That's what the point of That's the mask is. That's what the point of the mask is. The point of the mask to save you. <laughs> yeah. It's an advertising campaign of Dream doing masks on the airline. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the point of the mask is. He's got like his hand American on the kid's airline. thigh and like, it's putting the mask. Oxygen. There would oxygen. be there would be like some millennial who who's like 
just doesn't know what kids are into. It's like they like Osama bin Laden and Dream, I guess. So let's just <laughs> let's do that. This is like lesser of two evils. The ultimate airline. <laughs> <laughs> they they need to advertise because uh, Gen Z is not going on enough vacations. So they like, all right, we need to advertise to Gen Z, but how? It's like Charlie D'Amelio. It's like no, no, she's too mainstream mm-hmm. now. Osama bin Laden. That's the kids like it. But we, we need to be, turned around on him. We need to be the airline for Don Draper talking to America. You, you need a. You are now the airline for Gen Z. You <laughs> you like Minecraft. You like <laughs> streamers who cheat in their speed runs We're putting and fuck Freddy children. Fazbear underneath the seats. <laughs> He's gonna. It's going to expand into a biz. Pretty fast. We're gonna, that's we're gonna put them. false sinks and toilets in the bathrooms that they're allowed to take, so they can get a devious lick. <laughs> <laughs> I like Don Draper. They'll, like, they'll, they'll hit a devious l- for this dumb bullshit. It's just like, it's like uh, these kids are gonna get a devious lick today. Look at look at all these <laughs> fucking mirrors in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, modern Don Draper, instead of taking someone's identity, he pretended to be gay during the Bush era to get out of the army. <laughs> <laughs> and now he has to live his life as a gay man. <laughs> That's I, I do love the idea. I have where... news about Don that you're going to want to know. What is it? He's not really a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him at the brothel. Pete, who cares? <laughs> Have you noticed? Gives a shit, Pete. He only dates trans men. <laughs> I, I I do love the idea that like you have to like prove that you're gay. Where like in order to be like, all right, you got to get out of the army, but like someone's gonna yeah. have to watch you fuck a guy, not just like on like the honor system where it's like, yeah, I'm yeah, dead. even after you get out of the army, he has to keep up the facade. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> Every month they come by and you're like, all right, the yeah, army's just, coming. There's like a yeah, he, he's not even drafted. He uh, he like literally applied to be in the military, and yeah. then yeah. they found out he was gay. That's I do love the idea. Well, in the show too, I, he wasn't drafted in the show, was not He's like talks about no. how he wanted to join, oh, and then yeah. He wanted to join to get away. That's right. I'd like to buy the world a Coke and furnish it with cum. Well, I. Wait. Where the hell did my phone go? Isn't that good? I had some notes. Oh, you did? I, I like did. What, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to talk about the. One of the mask. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Madam Web film that <laughs> completely like I mean it's not out yet but there was a trailer release for it and I think it's in the the same universe as like Morbius and Venom yeah and Venom and, and I don't Venom. really understand is this a comic that I'm exists so yeah well so Madam Web is like an old lady who is like blind and paralyzed uh but she controls like the fates of humans um and like basically she was like sitting in 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 all like Spider-Man media before this. She's just like some old granny who's sitting in a chair and she's like, Spider-Man, you have to meet other multiverse Spider-Man in order to defeat like Doc Ock because he's got like, I don't know, he's going to blow up the universe. And he's like, okay. And so she just helps him out and she has like the ability to control the web of the universe. And in this movie... Um, they, they casted a bunch of young women to be the... Yeah, that's the worst The fun... Part. Like Spider Women, Sam crew. Sweeney is gonna be uh, Sydney Sweeney. Uh, yeah, Sydney Sweeney is gonna. Yeah, be, her outfit's hot. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, uh, I mean her outfit like kind of sucks. She's hot, so it's like yeah, but it's like a skin tight outfit on Sydney Sweeney. So you're like yeah, I guess Hell yeah. So. Uh, there there were easier ways to <laughs> yeah. get her to do that. <laughs> you didn't have to make a yeah, Madam Web. I'm not movie. watching the movie. You can you can just movie. go back and watch Euphoria, see your titties. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, um, she did a sexy there. music video for the Rolling Stones recently. Oh, that's cool. Rolling Stones still make music. Yeah, many new albums. It's really good. It sounds like the '70s. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then they got Sydney Sweeney with her tits almost all the way out, good, lying good around on cars. They, they, like, they for still them. know what they like. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that ain't fucking eighty year old. Oh, you think that's whatever. changing? Where they're just like, ah, we can no, do I'm the titty saying, thing. You know, I do. Like, I respect it. I respect it. I wish it. They would have been all of them like old. <laughs> yeah, they're all dancing skeletal, around her. like <laughs> <Yeah. touching> her. <laughs> trying to grind up against like young hot uh, Sydney Sweeney, and they're just like <laughs> they're breaking their hips. I don't know. That's a uh, yeah. When I went to see Iron Maiden, they're fucking all old as shit now too, and they're like still like trying to run around on stage and like jump around. And I'm like, why? Why are you doing that, man? Were they still like good? Or no? 
I mean, it's fine. It's just their new There's music. Some edit that's like Axl Rose's voice then versus now. <laughs> yeah. and it's him when he's like twenty, like belting out a song. And he's yeah. like fifty five. He's like, oh, you know, the comments like this is so sad. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, he's old. It happened. Yeah. yeah. It's also <laughs> like it happens to everybody. <laughs> it's also Here's, like at this point. Here's my idea for the Rolling Stones music video featuring Sidney Sweeney is they're going for a ride in a cool classic car, Mm -hmm. right? All the Rolling Stones guys, they're looking cool. They're old, but they still got it. They're rolling. They pull up to a car wash. Sidney Sweeney comes out and she's doing like stereotypical sexy car wash. All the (laughs) stuff's going down her. But they're like not ready for it because they're old men one of them starts clutching his heart because it's too stimulating <laughs> for him the other quickly reaches in the glove box for like some cialis he's yeah. like oh <laughs> yeah he's gonna grab some of it and like just Blue immediately Jew immediately yeah <laughs> immediately they stop being cool and just become sleazy old man and they're just watching her like oh Oh, well, yeah, they're jacking off. <laughs> the other one's coat. dead. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other one, like, he, he took a Cialis and his heart started pumping too much, so he's having a heart attack. One of them's holding their oxygen mask on, wide-eyed, <laughs> you know? That's cool. Yeah. While smoking a cig. And, like, it's all it's all seen as, like, cool. Like, it's all, like, take me home. Tonight. Like, they're, they're having, like, a, we're going to fuck her music in the back, but yeah. they're just old and gross. Yeah. She's slapping their hands away as they reach out the window. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's a, yeah, it's Sydney Sweeney's just like parrying all of their, like them trying to do grab ass on her. She's like, go, go away. And th- she's too fast at this point. So they're like, uh, that'd yeah, be cool. that would I'd rock. watch that. Oh, um, yeah. It's relatable to their audience. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be a hard, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. It's got to be a hard time in a rapist's life when you get old enough that most women can overpower you. Uh, speaking of uh spe- no, yeah, that's, yeah. Re- that's really sad <laughs> yeah wow. that, that must, what a tragedy <laughs> that must be rough because it's like there's probably some or it was like that was a lot harder to overpower this person than before like there's probably like a moment i think but, they like, get probably a bit more cunning you know and use less force yeah what if that just that's always been their thing then it's like the you know the up theme playing do 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 kind of sad he's walking home on the sidewalk <laughs> he's, old, he's old his dick's yeah, hard the montage that's of him like falling in love it's just him constantly sexually harassing women yeah, and they, but like, then it, punch him in the face yeah like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no I'm so bad at it now I can't I, get away with it like I used to and that's why he starts hanging out with a boy scout <laughs> That's yeah. You have to be able to like convince boys that like they want to fuck you, because like if you can't like just harass them into it, it's like you have to be like you want to suck my penis, you. And so that's yeah. probably how it all of a sudden gets a lot more ominous when he's trapped in the sky and then in the jungle <laughs> with this little boy. Yeah, we don't know when we're coming back down, little friend. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... These balloons, they could swell up and pop any moment. We could; these could be our last moments. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't want to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm saying, uh, actually, no. I'll, I can, you, you'll earn a badge if you yeah, do. Actually, I'm you saying I your can Boy fix Scout it. Badges. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna throw you out, but this is going down, and I'm the only well, one here who. I can just fix popped it. way too much Viagra, and I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> it's not about what you want. Get the dog. What the fuck? Yeah. Even <laughs> is the, the plot dog. up? No. Stop. Uh, even like behind the closed movie. door. He has a wife who dies, and they're trying to get they rid of up. his home. They're like, we're going to fuck your home. and But he has balloons in his home, so they, they get up. Adventure. Yeah, where did he get the balloons? He collected them. <laughs> he <made> them. They <laughs> like, all have like, the same amount like of... That's like the one thing where it's like, wait, hold on a minute. That many balloons? <laughs> well, he had a fuck ton of balloons, dude. Yeah, like, what the hell? I feel like you could get that many balloons. And then... If you, like, put your mind he, to it. He's flying. Just, I don't want that many balloons. He's flying to some some jungle that him and his wife always talked about going to before she died. But this this little boy, he gets on there. And then when they get there, there's, like, an evil guy who has, like, mind control collars on dogs. And that's his, those are the bad guys, are all the mind control dogs. Mind control yeah, I feel like dogs. that, just like, bad people, dogs. people good praise dogs. that movie that's a true, lot. Yeah. But I feel like it really loses the plot, like, as soon as the house, like, has to land <laughs> anywhere. It's like, well, okay, why'd we, we went up and now well, we went down. People, no, it I, crashes horribly when they get yeah, to the island. No, they they get fucked. It's a, uh, yeah, it gets yeah, fucking yeah. demolished. What, yeah, what I would have liked more is if, like, the book, you know how at the very end it's like, oh, we, like, failed, and then he opens the book and there's all the other photos? What if all those other photos 
uh, when he's like, oh, we failed. And it's like, uh, we didn't get to like fill out our, our like journey book. And then he opens it up and it's just his wife like fucking a bunch of black guys. And it's all just, just her like holding photo. up her arm to their penis <laughs> to show how big it is. And it's still the same sentimental music, but it's just like constant. Like it's- Or it's all the dogs with their dog collars on. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and peanut butter <laughs> and there's dogs like peanut- can talk dirty like no one else and there's peanut Just butter like it. on the there's peanut butter like on the book like <laughs> frame like old Petey smells it smiles that's how we found out dog cum gives you cancer yeah wow what a tragedy uh, yeah that'd be a sad movie speaking of um, <laughs> cool like, guys uh, cool guys assaulting people did you see the video of the guy who is like going around hitting on women and when they told him to go away, he would just pepper <laughs> yeah, spray them. Yeah. Mm, this no. only got traction recently. I was seeing this like a year ago. Yeah, oh, I remember yeah. you showed no. me well, something. No, like we that. find those oh, guys most okay. of the time. And then like someone on Twitter will be like, This guy can't be around anymore. And we're like, Oh, we love that guy. Don't <laughs> shut down his channel. We'll we'll be show, in, like, like parking garages and be like, Hey, pretty lady. And they're like, get away from me. Oh yeah. What kind of vagina do you have? Is it an innie or an Audi? Jesus. Does it have beep curtains? I'm gonna call the cops if you don't. Mm, yeah, know. fuck you. Yeah. You're annoying, dude. Why are you calling me? Because I wanna fuck. My fat ass cock is ready to get hard for you. Cops are coming right now. Why would you call the cops on me, bro? I'm just speaking. That doesn't matter. Fuck you, you little bitch, you little boy. Oh, you learn. Whoa, well, what's wrong with you? Chill out, chill out, chill out. Hey. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. You just kick me in the balls. You back up. You back up. You back up. Throw that at me. You're going to... Jesus. Yeah, he just runs off. Yeah, he just he sprints he's for it. Oh, uh, like the most pathetic way you can do that. I don't know. There's something about that that I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, this guy's like insane. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's guy. a guy who has very poor understanding of self-defense laws and thinks that he's technically legally getting away with it. Yeah. 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 Where, yeah, I think he's Doing like, well, I can say whatever I want. I to can Twitter. provoke people as much as I want. And then, you know, if they act like that, I'm in full legal right to pepper spray them. Yeah, like, just, nah. Is it that guy or someone else that would do like go up to like bars and piss off the bouncers? You should be like, me. you can't you come in, that. then you pepper spray them. I think Probably that was a couple different, different people <laughs> that do this kind of thing, you know? Oh, absolutely. He's not original. Pepper spray, spray, spray is a great uh, like weapon for that, you know? You really fuck people up, but it's it? not like a no, truly yeah. injuring. Apparently, pepper spray is illegal. He's got one too in New York. It's illegal. Yeah, I went. Yeah. I went to. Uh, I went to New York over the last week, and um, I saw Snoopy. Uh, I saw all the. Did you pol- see Luffy? I did see Luffy. Oh yeah, um, stretch. his little he, his hat got his, deflated. His hat got deflated. Did you see that? Yeah. No, that's sad. His hat popped, and now so he was wearing like a little bucket the hat. Bucket hat pirates. Yeah, I've seen was, a lot of cute art about that. Oh yeah, that's uh, it was it was interesting to see that. <clears throat> I didn't see like him pop the hat or whatever, yeah. but I got to see Luffy like under under a net. How I got did to see that hat just ran into something. Yeah, it was a tree, okay. and then it tree. got clipped by a tree, and then yeah, you think they make those stronger, but. I guess not. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, that's uh, it's tough. I don't know. It's the Macy's Thanksgiving I, I think, Day Parade. I think we we've, I think we've maxed out float technology. <laughs> oh yeah, let's Lee Harvey Our, Oswald. I think we've hit Macy's the end Day of that technology tree. Begins. Yeah, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Where we're just like Open on the grassy window. knoll, on you the gotta, on the central park grassy knoll. You get a nail grimace while he's riding in the back of the McDonald's. Well, no, because the day before they just have all of the balloons set up, blown up, and just like under a under a bunch of nets, mm. and you can watch them blow it up, and mm. it's kind of cool. Um, but you could literally, if you were sneaky enough, because there was like three cops there, oh, really good with a set of darts. You were probably yeah, like you the youngest person around, boom, boom, at boom, the boom. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, you know? Yeah. That's made for fucking 80-year-old people. Exactly. No, and, and children. I've got some pellet gun pistols that are really powerful. They'll fucking <laughs> yeah. go well, well into your skin. They're pretty... They're you They're think big. that would pop one of those balloons? Yeah, I do. Well, no, you would just have to... Yeah, because if they were, like, really powerful, you could probably just be, like, going up to them, and you could, like, kind of get out of the line of sight of the cops and just be like, boop, boop, boop. That'd be cool. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure nobody's ever tried anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure no. Well, I, I mean, like, <laughs> there's kind of just no incentive to do it. Just, uh, yeah, because the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade sucks. That's why. Uh, it kind of does. I, I, I saw it, like, live for the first time, and the best part was when some kid was, um, there was, like, Bluey going by. Uh, which the kids fucking love Bluey, yeah. and they were, like, freaking out. They were like, oh, my God, this is the best Thanksgiving ever. This is the best day of my life. And they were, like, getting really hyped about Bluey. And I was like, that's nice. Uh, otherwise... So you didn't get to see Luffy go by. You just saw him under the I saw the Luffy tarp. go by. Oh, okay. But then uh, once he got, went by, he got popped before I got to see him. Uh, or after I saw him. So. Oh, okay. Because I was on, like, a Did different block. the kids block. go nuts for yeah. Luffy? I'm not, like, sitting in front of Macy's. Because that's a whole other... Yeah, yeah. Like, you have to camp out in order to get what there. Were, what were the cheers for Luffy like? Did they get uh, like- there was there was no cheers. There was what? a lot of confused oh. parents. <laughs> and Are they not confused about Goku Super Saiyan, Saiyan. Goku That's Black a, or whatever the fuck? They that did. was funny. My mom was like, "So what's that man, Jack?" And I was like, "It's a anime." And she's like, "Oh, what what kind of Goku? Do they have Ultra Instinct Goku? No, they've just got uh, Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, it's a really Which pathetic. I don't really know why." Uh... Well, I think it was just because that's that's a pretty old balloon. They they keep those in rotation yeah. for a couple of years, yeah. just because it's like when you make a balloon, you're gonna have to like do that for a while. I got a dip. All right, our, do a big our, our heist body. on the, Which the one Thanksgiving Day balloon warehouse wherever they keep those. Let's try to steal a bunch of balloons. <laughs> yeah, let's try to sneak into the balloons. Bye, Liam. Bye, Liam. Bye, bye, bye Billy. We've lost one of our dogs. Yeah, our the, dog. He's got that dog in him now. Our dog's out of out of us. In your dog. Oh, <laughs> no. Whoa. Yeah, don't uh, do that, please. Uh, Liam fucks my dog as he leaves. That's a that's a bad look. That's a Thanksgiving Day present if I ever saw one. <laughs> Merry Christmas. If you had to get trapped inside one uh, uh balloons? one of the balloons, which one would it be? I don't even know which other ones they have there. Oh, okay. Um, I think it just wants to leave. They're not going to do it quite yet. We're we're going to wait till the end of the pod before I pee pee poo poo those guys. Okay. Yeah, they're good. Uh, I, like what? How many of them are there? I only know of Luffy, Goku, Bluey, Blue, uh, uh, Luffy, Goku, Garfield. Blue. Uh, I'm sure they had Garfield, a They had a Pokemon one. They had a Pokemon one was that was not, Eevee. Was and, Eevee. Yeah, Eevee and Pikachu and like a sleigh ride. They had um, they had like a they had like Kung Fu Panda. Oh yeah, the, that yeah. there's a new Kung Fu Panda coming out. Yeah, I had like no a fucking couple idea. Of weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like it's coming out in like February. Apparently, there isn't a trailer out for no, it either. That was the, the first Kung time. Fu Panda movies. Not too bad. No, they're, no, they're good. good movies. They're good movies. That's. I'm just confused as to why all the cloak and dagger nonsense with this. <laughs> the first look at Poe's new yeah. look is through a ba- balloon. Thanksgiving Day Parade. I'd be inside the Poe balloon. I'd be. I'd want to be in the Charlie Brown pants. I hate little bald boys. You want to be inside of him? I got sewn in to the Charlie Brown <laughs> Thanksgiving Day Parade float pants. So this is a Mr. Beast video? <laughs> no, that's the... Uh, so I think, I you, think should you should leave. That's oh. one of their bits. I don't remember that. That's a good one, because it's Shark Tank. Yeah, but... it's a Shark Tank parody, and they're all like, I started my own pharmaceutical company yeah. when I was this year's old, you know? <laughs> yeah. And they're all like business people. And then it cuts to one lady. She's like, I got a massive payout from a lawsuit when I got sewn into Charlie Brown's pants. <laughs> 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 so, so that's what you're choosing? Yeah. That's that's my go- that's that's my goal. <laughs> for the big payout. Yeah. Just for the joke. Just for the love of the game. Well, I'm choosing to be in there on purpose. Oh, just yeah, to like you don't, you don't get paid out for that. <laughs> I'm no, choosing I'm to be in there. I'm going to get high off all the fucking helium inside of it. I want them to eat me like a big guy. They fill those with helium? Yeah, no, they have to. That's how they that's how they fly. Ooh, um they fill it with Liam- <laughs> thousands of New York pigeons. Yeah. Liam sent me a uh, Kung Pu Panda. Kung Pu Panda? Kung Pu Panda. Kung Pu Panda. Like, Kung Pu that's Panda. a video, or he just sent you the words Kung Pu Panda? He just sent me Kung Pu Panda, the words, so there's not really much much going on there. Uh, but I think that, that that's got legs, at least. A little bit. Oh, yeah. No, I think so. I don't know. I, we 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 missed last week because I was a we did sick little boy. Week. I was a piece of shit. But we had sick boys. We had so we have so many 
but we have so many like backups, I guess, that I feel almost kind of bad because. I mean, I'm never in the loop. I don't know what's been happening in the world. Uh, Did you guys watch the Boogie documentary? No, fuck a no I don't documentary. give a fuck about Boogie. Was it good? Um, uh, it was really Is it a sad. documentary or is it a big, long YouTube video someone made? It's a made? big, long YouTube video, they but it's like an hour him. 30, so it's like basically a documentary. And he very pathetically tells his life story. Yeah, well, it's more like... He's dating like a like a twenty year old that he imported into the country. Yeah, um, that's just wild. It's really creepy. Uh, that's cool. It's uh, he's doing that. He seemed really condescending. Like he just has no money, but he spends a bunch of money on magic cards instead. And it's just yeah. like <laughs> I no- saw the clip where he tries to like go sell his magic cards. And he's like, his asking price for him is like way more than they were. Yeah. Like, well, no, he was him. like, he and would, then he literally looked it up online in front of him. He's like, what the fuck? They're that cheap. No. Yeah. No, he, I mean, that's, that's true with a lot of magic players, but he was definitely, cause he was like, oh, I need to like make money. And he did like one job interview where he's like, oh yeah, I'm worthless to the world actually. Yeah, I can't do yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. His interview with that lady was super funny too. I think like, like the at whole, the end of it, he's like, oh yeah. I'm also a felon. Yeah, he's like, I'm also a felon because I tried to shoot Frank Hassel when he uh, said he was going to come sissy hypnotize me. So that's that's too bad. Is that what that was about? Yeah. yeah. He was actually being trying to be sissy hypnotized? Yeah, Frank Hassel says, I'm going to come over and sissy hypnotize you. And I feel like said, we talked about this. Like, yeah. Said, it, we talked about it when it happened. Yeah. he was. I probably just was like two years assumed ago. it was a bit we did because that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, that, that it really, is like... It really it, happened. It is a bit, basically. And uh, the video plays out like a little bit too like, oh, someone... like. A little bit too like Mimi for a guy like tried to shoot him. I don't and know. You film it. You put a camera on Boogie, and that man will not do whatever. I'll tell you what. I, what Did he just do like let's plays. I totally forget why he, he was, was ever. Francis, so he was like the angry like fat gamer. He's like I'm so mad about Bethesda, and like that was his character. Yeah, he flailed uh, okay. about. And but he also was like the like reasonable centrist. He was like... These I are multiple both. characters he played? No, this is who he really is. He's, yeah. he's a reasonable centrist. Yeah, he is just a reasonable centrist. That was the the name of his like YouTube series? <laughs> yeah, that's that could have been. But he just... It was like Boogie talks about, um, I don't know, Obama. And he's like, guys, let's all calm down here. It's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad. And everyone's like, Boogie's so lovable. And then he immediately just became like, because everyone on the internet started telling him he was like lovable and affable. He's like, I fucking hate everyone. And so he just became like, I'm the smartest guy who's ever lived. I'm the coolest guy. And he's also like, but I also suck. And I also can't get a job. And I'm terrible. So he's a weird Man, guy. A but now he's just file. It, the best part was like, um, he was like, oh, uh, you don't believe that she's she's 18 trust me she's 18 like his new girlfriend that he imported and he's like i've got her passport right here in my pocket <laughs> he's just like wait what wait hold on boogie you got it in your pocket why do you always have her passport on you at all times well, you know boyfriends she, carry around she's their all, girlfriends she's always ideas. losing stuff yeah so i just want to make sure i got her passport i just gotta keep checking it for I got my her, own yeah. sake i got her green card i got all her money here yeah <laughs> i got it all stuffed in the piggy bank she when she needs to buy something she has to let me know and she, i let her i have forms for her to fill out yeah to, for a request to purchase so she doesn't know any of the card numbers just in case um she can get an uber if she needs to go and she, get by she's groceries. not well, allowed to talk to the she can get an uber to back here if she's not here otherwise no <laughs> <laughs> she can return with an uber she cannot go not anywhere. allowed to answer the door yeah she's not allowed to use the internet and when friends are over she goes upstairs we put her upstairs or she cooks it, yeah or she's cooking Either way, uh, life is good for both of us. But yeah, so he well, that was a very time. pathetic little documentary. Um, but he's like one of those original kind of weird internet guys, but yeah, he's like has more old cow has more prevalence than that. So I don't like people making those kinds of YouTube videos on internet people that just deserve to be forgotten. I don't yeah. know. Well, I I think like it feels uh, very scummy in in a very weird way. The internet has made me wish more people like died. 
Like, yeah. Those guys, like, I wish Boogie was dead. Like, not like I wish It would Boogie... be better for him. It would be better for him and for me if, like... I wish he was free from the cycle of torment. <laughs> yeah, I wish, like, the nostalgia critic... <laughs> yeah, he reflects critic... upon himself and others. Yeah, I wish, like, the nostalgia critic was, was dead. Just because it's, well, like... Well, I know he's making a documentary about him. Yeah. Or, like, Wings of Redemption. I wish he was dead. That guy should be dead. Where it's, like, just let him, like, be free of this torment. Like, Chris Chan, wish he was dead. A lot of people I wish were dead, but uh, mostly just to make like my life easier. Mostly boogie, though. Yeah, <laughs> mostly boogie. But it's mostly just like my life. I feel like every time something comes up about them, part of me still like cares, and so I'm like, nah. "What's going on over here?" And I wish I didn't have to. Let's free see. yourself, Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Let's see. This one says wrong one. Um, oh, uh, there's this. I don't know. It's not that funny, but there's this one video of this guy talking about his uh, his ex, and she uh, turns out he was like, "Okay, describe like your ex to us and how that all happened." And his ex was in the other room, and he didn't know that. And so he's like, "She was the love of my life. She was the best thing in the world. Like she really, I really loved her. She was amazing. Like I I miss her every day. Like I messed up. It's like if she was here, what would you tell her?" And then like he told her all that, and then she's like. I had no idea that he believed all this stuff. And then he goes into the other room and he's like, well, your ex is right here. And he's like, oh, wrong one. Like, not, not, <laughs> her, not her. Not that person. <laughs> not that person. Not, what the fuck was this, like a game show? Uh, no, it was like some sort of shitty internet thing. Oh. It was like, but yeah, it's like a 10 minute video. And so I, I keep seeing YouTube shorts of like Kai Sanat or other streamers doing yeah. things where they just, Phantom tax. They bring white people on to, and they're like, I'll give you, you know, $300 to call Edward. me the Edward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they do, and they're all like, oh, oh they did it. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> 300 bucks. <laughs> there, fucking said to do it. There are so many people who it's like, the, like, the moment, I guess, like, money is weird, because there are some people who it's like, you'll see those things where it's like, would you punch this person for, like, $10,000? It's like, why not? Very, like so many people are like weird about like principles where they're just like, I would never suck a dick, even if it was for a gajillion dollars. It's <laughs> like, really? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, what's wrong with you that like you think that that's like, if you wouldn't suck a dick for a billion dollars, I think you probably are gay. <laughs> yeah, I think like that's You're far gayer than me. Yeah, I feel like if you have to say no, I won't do that like that hard, or or like the idea that. You think that, like, what's going to happen if you suck that dick? Like, do you think that's going to irrevocably change your life? Because a million dollars will yeah, change your life. Women are going to yeah. be way more interested in you if you've at least sucked one dick. I feel like you got to try and especially it. especially if you have a billion dollars. That yeah. Too. <laughs> the idea of, like, especially, like, a billion with a B, where it's, like, Jeff Bezos is, like, suck my penis and I'll give you a billion dollars. What's a billion with a P? Uh, a, a, billion. a billion. A billion. But oh. that's, like, what I do when I'm, like zonked out on yeah i'm, uh, I'm going a pillion know. bro <laughs> a pillion i'll i'll a killion you that's <laughs> let's see oh oh one other funny thing that was awesome so uh xi jinping came to san francisco yeah. and apparently the moment that he landed in san francisco they immediately were like all right we got to do something about this fentanyl crisis <laughs> like he's like that was the first thing on the agenda and he was like i agree like wholeheartedly <laughs> and, the, and it's funny because i was like obviously that was planned and that was going to be the whole like right. thing but the idea of him like landing in san francisco and just being like oh my god <laughs> what have i done because <laughs> like most of our fentanyl comes from china so it's like but um apparently what? when he landed they were like cleaning it up like it was uh quote unquote like a a kid uh his parents were coming home after like an erasure of a party where they were just like going down the street and like rolling up homeless people into a ditch and they were just like whatever we're cleaning this entire thing because this needs to be like better i don't know it's a uh, yeah. entire thing was kind of america funny doesn't like to show how shitty it is to other countries yeah it's like well i mean that's like if you clean at least up your on the house. tv that's like if you cleaned up your house before someone came but where you're like it, it's like if you cleaned up your house but you shoved all the trash in the closet instead of doing anything about it you know oh yeah for sure yeah. that's 
You shoved all the dirty clothes like under the bed. Like you cleaned up your house, but you live somewhere that has no trash sanitation system, so there's yeah. no dumpster or anything to just put your trash. <laughs> so you, say, so you just kind of have to go hide it for a bit, even though you know it's just going to come right back out. Yeah, you like take the trash off the table, put it in a bag, and put it in your closet, and then you clean off the table, and you're like, that's, that's good. We're good. M- many such cases. You know, I've been there. I have to that. bribe my flies to go hide. You know, while oh, yeah. while I have company over. How do you bri- what do you bribe? I them put with? a little bit of peanut butter in the in the toilet. You had to shove a homeless guy in the closet last night. Yeah, I did. What happened? He was hide. He was in the in the door of my apartment. He was building the the front door. You said, you said he was shy. He seemed very sheepish. Is I'm what a I, shy. I like walked up to him and I'm like, "Hey, friend." Uh, I gotta get past you there. He's like, "Oh, am I in the way?" <laughs> yes. And I'm like, "Yeah." And then I unlocked the door, and he like scooted away from the door a bit, and then I went in and shut it behind myself. Yeah, yeah. I saw you had to like shuffle. I really had to like squeeze you really myself had to in squeeze there, by. but I was like. He just really kind of seemed like he didn't know yeah. <laughs> what yeah. he was doing. Exactly. He I, had his shoes and socks all the way off and was just kind of like sitting spread eagle with his legs out, and like up against the door with like his phone in his hand. That I imagine either, like, I, I don't know if he was homeless, but or he could have been like a <laughs> husband that was like kicked out. <laughs> How do you have like an iPhone if you're homeless? Like Very easily. What do you mean? What do you mean very You easily? have one before you're homeless and then you become homeless. What about like cell it? service? Like... You go to the coffee that's shop. What, that's why he's in Jackson's doorway. For he's got the Wi-Fi somehow. Oh, Maybe. that's smart. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't guess, think we have. But that. SIM cards aren't too expensive. Yeah. I, I just think that it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, man. Like Although, you, do iPhones take SIM cards? Um, I think there is a SIM card in it, but the newer models don't. There's like the thing on the side that you have to like pop out. Is that, yeah, is that with the little... Yeah. There's a little spot for, like, you stick a paper clip in there. Yeah, and then you can pop out your SIM card, and then all the homeless guys say, I'll take that from you. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be worth a lot of money there, friend. I do, I do, like, because um, it's, like, with that, it's also, like, what are you, like, what are you doing with that? Like, well, I don't know. Who are like, you, who I was are just, you? C- like, worried because he was sitting in front of the door, and I'm, like, are you going to, like, block my way in? Am I going to have to pepper spray you yeah. and, like, call the cops or something? It's but like, he just kind of moved, and I was like, oh, Most thanks. people don't want trouble. That was... No, I'm just saying, uh, he was, like, literally blocking the door yeah. very, like, blatantly. When I went up to, um... When I went up to like New York, I was always I was under the impression that everything was just going to be like filled with rats, and there's going to be thousands of homeless people just sprouting. Like sprout. you've been to New York, I mean the yeah, parts no. of New York you go to as a tourist are fine. Yeah, they keep it clean. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's some parts where it's like rougher areas, but for the most part, if you go to like the residential areas, or if you go to like the places where it's like touristy, New York. They're you like do you really do go nice. by places where like there'll be a random street corner where there's like two dozen trash bags sitting there. Yeah, but like you know, it's a big ass city. Where are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, they gotta literally wait for the garbage truck to fucking pull yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was impressed by it though because it was just like because especially now like the the like conservative media will want you to believe where it's like New York hell like New York yeah. officially gone like we've lost New York it's I mean like the the per capita crime statistics of New York are so much lower than pretty much everywhere else in the country it's, oh god it's insane. yeah well that's because you have like so many people living there and most people there don't want to like fuck with people no oh, yeah it's part of the culture it's like don't fucking talk to me and I don't have to talk to you yeah exactly and we both go on with our time I respect that. No, I love New York. I love being there. New York's it's a really cool. nice city uh, My... to just walk around in. Yeah, in general, New York's like it's also got the the vibe that I kind of like, where it's like people are always like doing stuff. Yeah, whenever you talk to anybody, it's like oh, they're like t- hustle and bustle. They're grooving. City that always uh, eats you said, pizza. That, uh, that's and also the food's better there. Food's the, pretty good there. Depends. Yes. I think the food's really good here, but you have to, like, go out of your way and make sure that... There's a few good spots, but, like, New York, there's... If you're not a good restaurant, like, you're going to fail yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. There's, a I mean, there, there, there's plenty of, like, tourist trap shit spots, but... 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I don't understand like people who go to like the fucking McDonald's <laughs> the, <laughs> or whatever. I, in Times I do Square. love seeing it was like, the, the Times Square for... Olive Garden. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing, man? I do love seeing the line for like Starbucks when there's like a bunch of like. I guess Starbucks is the one thing where it's like Starbucks makes sense to me because people with coffee, it's like. When you're with food, if I'm in a new place, I want to try new shit yeah. that I can't get or I'm otherwise at. But like I get with coffee, you're like, I have my drink. I know Starbucks makes it a certain way. I know I like it that way. People are very particular It's pretty, it's about pretty that. fast. To just go get it and leave. Yeah, right. exactly. You don't have to like sit around and eat. Yeah, I guess Starbucks is also like coffee's so utilitarian where it's like, I need this to like hype me up. Like, yeah. most people enjoy coffee only as much as, like, they well, drink it every day. that's so degenerate. So there's stuff that they like approve. and stuff that they don't like. I don't, I don't approve know. of that. I approve of that. That's how I drink coffee. I just drink, like, black cold brews for that exact reason. It's like... Yeah. Black? Black. Black. Like the kind of stuff you get on your Getting teeth? On his teeth. Yeah, I'm like, give, give me some of that. Yeah, give me cold brew with some extra some plaque. If you ask plaque. real nicely, they'll scrape it off their teeth themselves mm, and throw it in and yum, kind of garnish they'll it They'll take the a top. tongue scraper and then scoop that into the drink. Big big old whipped cream on the top and go, ah, uh, and then nice. yeah. get a bunch of that gross shit. Out <laughs> of oh my God. Yeah. That's fucking foul. That is so foul. You drink it, man. I don't know what to yeah, say. I don't know why you drink that shit. I respect it. I uh, I mean, like, if they're going to do it for me. For like, the love of the game. I do love that they're Most going to. Of your testosterone is excreted through your plaque. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the people who just re-eat their cum after they jizz I, to I re- the idea. reinsert the proteins <laughs> into their body. You're like, you're, you're getting them to, like, cum on your drink and you're drinking it and they're like, I don't see why anyone wouldn't eat their own cum like this is their you're losing nutrients i'm like i feel bad for them if you come to new york you gotta go to this coffee shop i don't know what it is about the baristas got but they got the best cum of anywhere in the city <laughs> yeah, he just says it out right he knows what's what's in it the uh all of the like bullshit with um like the nutrients and stuff and cum i feel like you're not getting your nutrients back if you eat the cum right no, definitely not. I'm sure you're obviously. getting a little something out of it, but uh, mostly it's gross and you shouldn't do it. Uh, I don't think mm. there's anything necessarily wrong with it, but uh, you feel... shouldn't do it because it's it is weird. Yeah. Oh no, dude, you piss out of there. You get you get. There's gotta be some piss on that cum. Yeah. Well, if you're a guy who's eating healthy and you're coming, you're fine. It would be funny if you got you're one of those guys where it's like a radioactive green is cum. This, is this cum grass fed? <laughs> <laughs> Come as no, corn sir. Fed. That's beef. That's beef fed. All right. I did want to talk about the obsessed fest the that? drama that came out. So you know, oh, like yeah, the yeah. top podcasts of all time are all those fucking uh, true crime, true crime, like obsessed shit. Okay, yeah. Uh, so apparently there was a big falling out between like the top podcast and then like another smaller side one because now they're all like conglomerated under this big like podcast network yeah i right. hate the idea People of podcast, love podcast, network. podcast network podcast network doesn't make any fucking sense to me it's it's insane well it's like because a lot of my girly podcasts exist in a podcast network and they they're basically like shitty communism where it's like they they, they take a bunch of money viewers, off the top yeah because yeah, you can just like get like ads out and they're like overall we have this many things and it's one of those things where all of the uh chicks with like very low view view counts just like get to exist as a podcaster for two years because they're getting paid uh, by like the podcast networks because they're getting them ads and like getting them sponsorships and they have like as many views as we do and it's always just like well you got to give up but, the goat at but a yeah point. but you're making money so who gives a fuck that is fair I, I guess i like it as a grift i don't like it from a, no i from a consumer perspective it sounds fucking absurd yeah from a capitalist what, uh, what do we gotta be talking about to get on this girly podcast network Oh, uh, like Dear Media <laughs> Productions. I have like submitted a couple of our episodes. <laughs> all, always. And then like, especially when it's one of those ones where it's like really low level girly podcasts are in there. I'm like, oh, you got to get us in here. <laughs> like we've got. Come on, we'll say whatever. Yeah, we'll say whatever. And then, but I'll always, I have like a, I don't know if I have like a default email, but I do have like a tone of phrase that I use when I talk to them where I'm like, we're interested in bettering like 
We're yeah. interested in bettering You're the next generation the, of men and trying to, uh, oh, trying to yeah. get them to... <laughs> you make us sound like red pillars. And <laughs> no, and I'm bad. just like, we're, we're interested... But they know, they know there's money in that. No, we're talking more about like... I'm, I'm like, oh, we're trying to like make it so, um, you know, men who aren't in the red pill like can listen to women's voices and like listen to like what they have to say. So I think it would be really valuable for you to come on our podcast because we have a good male audience and they are always interested in hearing what women like what, what women speaking their truth. And then they like click on the podcast link and it's like fucking Sam Sweeney's a dumb bitch. <laughs> Just like, oh, I didn't say that. No, I love you, Sydney. I'm Sweeney. like, oh, you, I watched love, you watched it. You watched it. I see that you watched why, it. Why do you trick people? Into doing that. Oh, that's my favorite. Here, part. Here's how we pivot. So you know how the Fresh and Fit podcast they bring on like OnlyFans girls yeah. just yeah, to like yeah, yeah, yeah. yell at them and be dicks and get in arguments with them. Yeah, for sure. We do that and we get we say shitty stuff to them and get in argument with them. But then when they are pushed back at all and get argumentative with us, we get nervous and break down. <laughs> yeah, we um, give it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm being oh, really mean right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I yeah. didn't think it would go this way. <laughs> we can like we can come out really strong. We're just like <laughs> women belong in the kitchen. If you're not subservient to your husband, then you are a bad woman. Yeah. And they're just like, uh, I don't actually, think so. I'm and not we're sure like, about that. well, no, but uh, we can, to ask you, uh, agree. <laughs> but I, I can't cook. You you gotta cook for me, please, please. I brought you here to make me some mac and cheese. Uh, agree to disagree. I like, don't we're know just, how to make my box of craft mac and cheese, and I need your help. That's why we're right here. <laughs> we're my women belong. Oh, the kitchen because they're so much smarter than me. Oh, please, please, please. I can't read on the back <laughs> of the box. I know it's easy instructions, but I can't just follow the pictures. I've been having salting crackers for dinner for the past <laughs> month. I just have been stealing them from the just bodega. Trying to hit up every oily fans model just come on the podcast so they can make me <laughs> <laughs> make me food. Just make you seem pathetic. I, I do love yeah, the pretend, idea. Pretend it's an interview, and then when we get here, we just really sad. Like I'm so hungry <laughs> help, help, uh, can you guys order some food I'll I be back look for myself I spent all my money on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> they like they, no not even that we're just like can you guys order some food and they like get pizzas like we'll get you back can oh you, my phone's out of batteries can you please order the food can you please door you dash me door Popeyes <laughs> I just want Popeyes I just want a Popeyes chicken sandwich but I, I want a five afford piece it. meal with beans and rice and, and mac and cheese Cheese yeah, that would and- be cool. And then it turns into true crime when we kill them. Yeah, when we when we turn them into the Popeye's chicken sandwiches. That would be so fucking that would be so fucking deadly. Uh so I guess at Obsessed Fest, which is like a thing oh, yeah, where they're talking about <laughs> that, which is a thing where uh they get all the podcasters from this podcast network to do like their own convention, which they were selling like the most you could pay for a ticket. I think it was like six hundred dollars, and then like the cheapest one was like fifty dollars or something to just get in there and like go to the live podcasts. Yeah, which apparently the main one just did the live podcast that they've done in other cities before. Wait, they re- they did, did the pod- same one like a set like a, yeah. like a stand up comedy set. Yeah. Imagine if like we, word for word or beat. I, beat. I imagine yeah. Just well, if they're like the true same kind of like I imagine talk. they just like have the same yeah thing, the same and then story, they have just like the same points, and they'll like try to react to them. Like imagine if we did a live podcast, but it was like one of our old podcasts. Yeah, I I couldn't imagine trying to react the same way. To, yeah, <laughs> to anything, <laughs> just like stare blankly at everything. Where it's like, remember this? Like yeah, uh, but that's it. not that the drama. True even. crime because they're so dry. Yeah. yeah, I mean, true crime is admittedly a somewhat interesting genre but i'm I mean, not about to just fucking listen to two other assholes who have no like actual credentials yeah credentials talk about it true crime's cool when it's like experts are talking yeah. about it and they're just like what is going on i like on? watching yeah like police interviews and stuff like that yeah that's about it or, but like most true crime uh, things are just people googling like incidents and shit like this happened, and then this happened, and, and then this happened. this happened. So they did the same podcast. No, that wasn't again. the drama, but okay. uh, the drama is between the guy who pretty much runs the whole podcast network with his husband, and this girl that was on one of their side podcasts that the main guy was also a part of for a while. And apparently, whenever he was on the podcast with her, he like they had been friends for a while, but he was also just very mean to her in general. And people kind of like saw that as like 
either they're very good friends or he's just very mean spirited as a person, you right. know. Yeah. And so eventually he'd stopped doing that podcast, but a different guy joined on to that podcast. And then they found out like three months ago that uh It was the same guy. They yeah. were gonna <laughs> have to those those two on the side podcast were going to have to like buy the rights to that podcast for like three million dollars <laughs> oh if God. they wanted to keep doing it. Uh has there ever been a single podcast that's like other than like the Joe Rogan experience, maybe. <laughs> yeah, like just in like in its three million pure dollars value. for a podcast five people fucking listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Not even like that. It's like you can still have a gajillion listeners, but the thing yeah. is, is that you're like it's like the people. So if you're like this podcast is done by then yeah, like no, you just move on obviously. and do another podcast. Totally insane in a- to like think it's not the personalities that make a podcast yeah. and the name somehow mattered. Like it's just like, okay, we're doing a different one and then everyone's like okay well was it just like he didn't like the girl the guy who runs it and he was just trying to edge her out yeah spitefully? i mean a lot of people were posting on their fucking subreddit about like how they had like either met him or like seen him act like a total fucking tool in public and uh, that's kind of cool just I like, being like a total asshole to like uber drivers and stuff i like a business mogul but you just like do a shitty podcast yeah. and you because like well, it's 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 when you're not a business mogul and all of a sudden you have a media empire that you're yeah. like not really sure what and they you're probably doing. are making a shit ton of money yeah with that. yeah no, undoubtedly. I mean, they're charging fucking six hundred dollars for like their meet and greet tickets. Yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The meet and greet tickets. That's where the real money's made. To my it's knowledge, it's like I don't want to meet a fucking podcaster. <laughs> no, if I like them. There are, I listen there are to their a lot podcasts, of people where it's like, oh my god, them? my friends, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> I thought that the drama was going to be that they did an episode on a crime that hadn't happened yet <laughs> <laughs> that's always that's our drama that's yeah. what we're gonna we're gonna sell that we're just like we're murderers but we do the true crime podcast yeah. before and uh they'll, they'll make a netflix show about that eventually yeah, yeah. that's well so, isn't that like based on a true story it's gonna be it's gonna be a blumhouse film eventually yeah, yeah. well I think like podcasts like celebrating like you you having a festival about all of you celebrating the true crime that you love to talk about you're all psychopaths yeah, like do- everybody going to that psychopath the baby because like also that podcast i'd like listen to a couple episodes and it's so like babyfied where it's like yeah. it's oh, all and like bright colors murdered and he, uh, yeah and, he and he's like raped and killed her is that how they talk right yeah now? well they, <laughs> do, they do talk like this sounds they do, awesome they do <laughs> kind of talk like uh they're talking to kids kind of <laughs> and they're they kind of talk like it's like, oh, put your listening ears on. Let's go into the new true crime. Let's talk about how this guy murdered this guy. Yeah, and then so like, they never what? give it like a reverence. They're always like, in in like the worst part is, I hate the true crime. I don't know that we're people to start. Oh, I don't think we're, <laughs> well, we're like not. We're not sitting here. The- I don't like the tone of voice they have. Like we're obviously not like reverential people. I'm just saying, like you're talking about people that were like fucking murdered. My big problem and you're just, is like, like really taking it in as like fun entertainment. My big problem is like when they like double back on it and they're like okay but you don't understand like what we're doing is good we're getting like the word out of like the victims and like we're getting like yeah, we're what? getting like the word out of the like kind of what can happen and like how to stop it and it's like no you guys are just like weird creeps who like looking at these weird crimes very that into morbid shit yeah you and like jerking off to it. if you're here and doing that that's fine but the idea of like making it like a net good on society is insane to yeah, me yeah i don't have an issue with the concept of true crime because like i get why that appeals to people but yeah, yeah it's definitely silly to be like we're actually doing a great good here and we're yeah. having a fun festival where we get to meet all our friends who love talking about murder with each other yeah, dude, oh, if yeah. i was if i wanted to be a murderer i gotta kill someone at that oh festival. yeah oh, you yeah. gotta show up like fucking agent 47 and fucking 100%. clip people the whole that would be the whole that would be awesome fest. just tell there's only like two people left on stage yeah <laughs> and no and then it's like make your next episode about that huh and you just <laughs> murder oh yeah you get in early so you just put like i don't know like thermal detonation devices underneath <laughs> every seat and then it just kills everyone in the audience and then you just get up and you're like making we'll an episode see but about no that. you don't want to do that because at that point it's like they don't do true crime episodes about acts of like mass terrorism you know Maybe they would. you, you want to get like a few people sneakily 
Because that they'll make an episode about. Yeah. You you, know? yeah, you want to kill one of their like close friends. Close your yeah. Friends. You want to get one of the people who does the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I love, okay, I love the concept of like they're sitting on stage, they're doing like their live podcast that they already did three times, and then they look over off stage, and it's just us and their grandma, and she's like, "Hello," and we just slit her throat and just walk off, and they're like, "Oh, what the uh, fuck?" Uh, <laughs> just like, "Oh, that's a real true crime." Damn, right there. I'm about to make so much money. <laughs> yeah, like in their damn. mind. Um, yeah. In their mind, as their grandma bleeds out, they're like, I'm about to become a fucking millionaire. I am about to make fucking bank. Oh, yeah, I'm buying that house, baby. That's, oh, that would be awesome. I can get a boat. <laughs> just, yeah, no, just like a, a silencer and the, their fucking kid, and you just pop it in the bag and then walk off. It's, and, uh, yeah, it's like make an episode about that, huh? I don't know. I still rather kill them. Yeah, that that would probably do more good for society than just <laughs> killing their grandma. <laughs> like having less true crime podcast. It would be funny if like somebody started hunting down true crime podcasters and <laughs> yeah, they were like I, a serial killer just on it's that. It's just Dexter, but yeah, he's well, I killing think that would true be crime like, podcasters. At worst, morally neutral. If you're hunting down like true crime podcasters yeah. and like hanging them up based on like the crimes, they're like. But the see, episode- here's the problem: if you do that. For every true crime podcast you kill, you make three more. Oh, that's oh, that's <laughs> shit. They you are inspire, kind of like a hydra, yeah. You inspire a whole generation. It's too, of true it's crime too podcasters. poignant, you know. Too on the nose, too ironic, you know. They have, you know, they're making podcasts about that, hundred percent. Oh yeah, no, and then, but I think that it's like, like once it gets to like a Netflix special, that's when. That's when it's like, okay, you probably can't make like a podcast about this. Or I guess maybe they do. Maybe they just go off the Netflix special and like. I'm sure they do. I don't know if I don't know if these people have any standards or morals. I doubt it. Or cares. I'm trying to look at what they're like obsessed. What the fuck is it called? It's like true crime obsessed. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. True. Ooh. Well. I wanted to see their like their podcast cover is like b- the man and the woman and they're like in front of like a white background and they're making like fun yeah. smiley face and raising their hand there's like pink balloons behind them they are and doing then the, the weird the podcast like, is just about fucking like murder well it's like a lot of the like weird like bullshit that they do is always like infantilizing true crime and that's my least favorite part about it oh uh oh is that a pukey dog that's a pukey dog do you wanna do you wanna see if we can call it just so I can tend to these pukey dogs yeah, right now? You do what you gotta. All right. Well All right. You, can you guys email us at brownbrickspodcast at gmail.com? Can you pretty please do that? Some of your fa- favorite murders. Some of your favorite Wait, crimes. let me read this real quick. A matriarch's death leads to a prominent family from Texas being torn apart by decades of betrayal, greed, and mistrust. This is going to be so fun to listen to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wait, can I see what the thing looks like? Yeah, they, it's different now. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's probably actually after they got a bunch of backlash for that. Yeah, Patrick Hines is the guy and Jillian Penis Valet. Penis what? Valet? Oh, that's what... Pensa Valet. Oh, okay. I was going to say Penis Valet. That's what I call um, George Michael. Patrick Hines and Jillian Penis Valley. Penis Valley, that's what they call uh, you, the listener's mom's vagina. Yeah. Up top. Got her ass. All right, have a good night, folks. All right, au revoir.